it just dawned on me. I don't think I even started this video. So it's Tracy from Nova Scotia Living. I got up early enough, but um, yeah, I was upstairs trying to unload my phone to um, edit another video for us. And today is Friday. Got some laundry to fold. There's some in the dryer that needs to come out. Did you have a good sleep, Boris? You slept with Messiah. Randall's out there. That's good. I don't think they realized I put some uh, stuff out on the compost, too, like on top that the crows would eat some meat. Uh, oh, I think we're, Oh, I think that they're over there now. They're smelling. Good. All right, I'm going to go wake up the big kids while well, Mazai is awake because she got up just as we were going out. But, oh gosh, yeah. Whew. All right, guys, a friend of mine, it's their birthday coming up soon. So another friend in the friend group um, is throwing together a montage kind of video of all the friends to send a message. So I just did that. My face is so freaking flushed. It's driving me crazy. Anyways, it's 9.29. I uh, am having a family in-service day with the kids. Um, yeah, Misha wanted to go to school today. Uh, it's a CLT day, so they get dismissed early. Um, so I was just kind of out of sorts, and I'm just like, well, forget it. It's, you know, not quite half a day, but almost half a day. Sometimes you got to do that. Not all the time, but occasionally. My mom used to do that, and she'd actually send notes to school to say it was a family in-service day. What are they going to say? Anyways, Misha wanted to go because she wanted to take part in that. It was come to school as your favorite video game character, which she doesn't play video games, but she knows Ninja Turtles is a video game, and she is a hardcore Ninja Turtle fan. She loved Ninja Turtles when growing up. She had all the toys and stuff. So she dressed up as a Ninja Turtle. The blue one, whatever one that one is, was, and brought a couple of the toys. And it's game day, too. You bring your favorite game. Um, oh, and Maze, Maze went to school, too, of course. Um, but he, he was like, neither here nor there. But it's a family and service day for the big kids. Misha, or Manly's still not feeling top-notch. And I was just like, whatever. I, I, you know, I'll be home with the big kids today. I'm fine with that, really. Um, yeah, that's enough on that subject. And I did a video for my friend who was doing the montage video for our other friend. Um, it's a person that, uh, yeah, is near and dear to my heart. So, anyways, uh, it's 9.31. I, gosh, look at my kitchen. Those are all clean. They need to come out, but there's dishes. That little pan there, that's clean, but the big one is not. And this is my table. Cleaning out book bags. That's the old paper bag thing, old uh, pudding thing. Yeah, old waffle maker. Mally made waffles last night. So I should get my arse up and hurrah and do something about this. Right, guys I gotta get down to business and make something for supper these ribs I do not feel like cooking at all but they're in the fridge and I do have raw hamburger but my mind is blank I don't know what to make with it I don't want to make spaghetti again I could make chili but I don't feel like looking for the stuff to make chili with so I will wash these dang ribs there's four racks of ribs I believe I think these are from Sobeys one was thirteen seventy five, which is a phenomenal price. It was eight eighty a kg. This one was seventeen thirty five, 
a 80, a kg. The due date is the 19th. Today is like the 12th, 13th. I don't know. It's whatever Friday is. It's whatever Friday is. I don't know. Anyways, I've got to take these out and wash them. And we've got to take the membrane off. Stick them in the oven. It's probably around like 945 or something. Uh, the only chicken and rib sauce I found was this. Diana's chicken and rib sauce, which I like. This is not, but it's Diana sauce barbecue. Oh, I thought I found another one. Just a minute. Yeah, the President's Choice chicken and ribs. And then I got Cajun spice over there. And what's that? A shoulder smoked apple wood. I'm going to combine those two things. Lather them up with them, like overload them. And bake them in the oven covered with tin foil for slow and low for the rest of the day till supper time. So let's get it set up. Okay, I just washed those ribs. I just rinse them off and rub them with my hand like nothing extravagant. I need another glove. I'm going to put a glove on underneath so my hand doesn't get super itchy. Um, and then I'll wash the glove after. like making this. I'm lazy. I don't want to do anything today. I already did stuff this morning. But if I do it now, I mean these ribs would be good till next week, but I don't have the mental capacity to think of what to do with hamburger. I don't want to make spaghetti again. I do, but you know, I like to have a little bit of a variety for the children. If that makes sense. A little bit of a variety, for goodness sakes. They can't eat spaghetti every day. I mean, they can, but... Oh, that's a big old... Let's try back here. Now, this is finicky. Sometimes the membrane comes off easy. Other times it doesn't. But if you grab it with a paper towel, I don't have paper towels, so I'm using a napkin. It's easy to hold on to instead of it being slimy and um, ornery. That's not doing it. I'm a little bummed out, and it doesn't affect me directly, but I see it on Facebook, and I'm not on Facebook every day. A person I went to school with, her husband passed away. And I'm feeling, oh, I feel bad for her. And not that we were close friends. We weren't enemies, but we weren't close friends. Like we didn't hang out together and do, you know, teenage hijinks together. And I feel for her. She's my age. Her husband recently passed away. And I feel for her. And I haven't seen her, it's like, I don't remember bumping into her all the time that I've lived back home, which is, you know, 25 years, maybe not quite that. Maybe I bumped into her, but didn't notice. And that makes me feel bad. Not that she might not have noticed me, but I'm just like, I remember her in elementary school with the dark hair and the freckles and she was quiet and I know she has children, they're grown children, but I'm feeling really bummed out for her. I know he is where he's supposed to be. I won't get into that, but I know he is fine, but I feel for her and I don't have that kind of relationship I can reach out and talk to her but I'm feeling the urge to and I don't know what to do about it um, so all my prayer warriors out there whether you pray 
traditionally or not. Please send your positivity towards my friend. My peer. She is one of my Facebook friends, but again. I feel for her. We're so lucky. It just makes us realize when somebody our age passes and moves on to a better place. It is a better place. That person is safe and loved and greeted with love and affection and stuff. I 100% I believe that. I'm not scared to pass. I'm really not. I want my children to be grown and all that stuff. But the person left behind... I have no impact on their life at all, but I want my energy that I have in my daily life right now to go to them that are left behind, there's children left behind, and all I can think of is elementary school friend. I remember, I remember them from elementary school. I remember them from high school too, but it's elementary school. like. Complete innocence. Complete, they're children. Like Misha and Mates, like they're complete innocence. So are Mally and Messiah, but you know what I mean? Like they're still living in wonderlust in the sense that they have no idea. Uh, that's what I remember her. And I never had any beef with her. And now I want to go and hug her and uh, let her know that he, he is safe. He is loved. He is okay. But I don't know how to do that because we've had no contact. Is that weird? I don't want to sound like a crazy person, but that's how I'm feeling. I'm really feeling. That's all I'll say about that, but I have a whole lot of other thoughts on it. Uh, but I don't know if this is the place to talk about it. Not that I don't trust you guys, but it's everybody else. You know what I mean? Did I do this one? I think I did. I don't know. If not, I'm done doing it. Okay. I'm going to take this glove off. There. I have this on because my hand gets itchy lately. This is a new thing of Cajun seasoning. And this is apple wood. I'm going to try to use all of this up because it's been in the cupboard for a bit. Honestly, I mean, dry rubs certainly help with the process, but it's the combination of the dry rubs and the sauce. You can't just completely depend depend on dry rub, in my experience. You rib experts out there that do those tailgate um, grills, you probably are like, what the hell is she talking about? However, in my experience, I need to have this and sauce. So this, God, there's still more in here. I'll do both sides and then after I'll do that Cajun seasoning because I want to do both. I like a little bit of a kick with my ribs and then I'm going to cover this with tin foil. Yeah. And I know my videos are behind. Um, but yesterday was the day. Initials for orange juice, you know what I mean, passed away. That husband of the friend that I went to school with passed the day before that. I'm just give you a time frame. I don't care about orange juice. I care about my peer that is a good person. 
I'm not trying to make this video like, oh, focus on me because I'm in grieving. I'm not in grieving for the person that passed. I mean, I know he's in a better place. I'm in grieving for the people left behind. And it's like, oh, it's my heart. Am I being dramatic? I don't know. I don't know. So I'm going to do this apple wood stuff on the back too. I want to try to use all of this up. And I want to put Cajun on top of it. Maybe I won't even put Cajun. I don't know what the heck I'm doing. There's not as much going on the back side or the underside as there was on the top. But things like that. I know sometimes we bu we used to buy, I haven't bought them in a long time, those kebabs that look like they're seasoned to the high hill hell and yonder, like they're just seasoned to the nine, it looks like. But if you cook them straight like that, they're not that seasoned. It just, it looks like it is. It's probably, probably paprika or turmeric that makes it look so colorful and flavorful. But they're not that flavorful. you got to add some more stuff to it or sauce. You know? Maybe it's just me. Maybe I just have a trash palette. This is brand spanking. Please don't say that this is. Oh, good. I thought there might have been, a, you know, one of those caps on top of the bottle, which is probably good. But anyways, the dishwasher's going. I'll get that going after this one's done. I got laundry to fold. I might do some vegetables. I do half a bag. I do have a half a bag of um, French fries, maybe. I don't know what to do with this. I just want to get this cooked up. And there's enough here for everybody to have like a good feed. You know, they can have their belly full. I'll be surprised if there's any left over. There might be some just because but they won't last. It's not going to be in there for days. It'll be done by tomorrow if it's not done by tonight. Just try to press it in. Press it in. Tap it in. Tap, tap, tappy. Don't you want to go home, ball? You know what I'm talking about? I can't even be bothered to do the sides. Oftentimes I do, but I can't. I already took a glove off. I'll make sure it's all coated by the time I put sauce on and put it back in to be tacky. I just want to coat both sides. I don't have the big roll of tin foil that would just take one slice. Dang it. But I'll just have to double up on the tin foil. And this gets out of my fridge because this has been in my fridge for a week, maybe. I'm just like, ugh, I don't feel like doing this. This is what I don't feel like doing. Cooking them? Fine. But then there's the whole process of cleaning them. Cleaning the pans. It's a pain. down I don't know I gotta go fold up that laundry there's stuff in the dryer I gotta bring out too before I start folding <sighs> all right 
I have that sauce out, but I'm not putting that on until the ribs are pretty well done. Like they're done pretty much, but it's good to um, sauce them up after they're done. And then you put it back in the oven for about 15, 20 minutes at a lower temperature and let it, the sauce get tacky and then it's good to go. So, ta-da! There's my ribs. I'll be back. All right, there it is. It took two pieces each. I did spray the underside with cooking spray, that Kirkland stuff, just because I don't want it sticking to the ribs. And I'll put it in. What time is it? 10.25. I'm putting it in at 300. And I'll take it out at like 4, 4 o'clock or something. Ooh, okay guys, I had a shower. I'm all shiny and still red, but that's the way it is. Um, I could smell the ribs. It's at 325, I'm still, I haven't even checked them. I'm just going to leave them until later on this afternoon when I'm ready to um, deal with them. Ooh, all right guys, I haven't checked back in a bit. I laid down a bit because I had a Benadryl after my shower and I'm just like, ooh. But the kids are all home. They're asking, when are those ribs done? It's about quarter to three now. These are probably done by now, but not officially done because I haven't put sauce and stuff on them. They look good. I can see the ooh, ends of the... Let me take a... I'm going to do the sauce and stick it back in. Yeah, that's coming right apart. All right, good. So again, PC, President's Choice. This is Diana's barbecue and Diana's chicken and ribs. I'm gonna use the combination of all this stuff. Got my puffer in between my boobs. Side first. Do it all evenly. put some of the barbecue Just kind of swish it around. The things get coated. That's side of just taking Violet and Boris out for me. Oh, don't make me a plate. You don't want any ribs? Mm. No? No. You're not hungry. Well, they're not ready yet, anyways. Did you make anything else with them, or is it just ribs? I don't know. I was going to do french fries or something in the air fryer. 
Two should the front try. So. Well, we'll see. Laura, oh. you stay inside. You're going to go out in a minute. Yeah. I don't want to slip in your back door. No. It's going to be too much of a pain to chase you down. I'm sorry, Laura. She's going to take you out in just a sec there, bud. It's time to crimp Violet. Alright. I'm going to do the other side of it too. Hopefully I can flip it back over without it breaking all up. Okay. These pans are going to be a devil of cleaning up. I'm going to have to soak them with hot water for a while. Oh, God. Okay. Of course. So this is Diana's chicken and rib. At least I'm using stuff up. Zaya with the violet and then she'll take the Boris out. She built. Oh good. What a good girl you are, Violet. I knew you could. Those are you're, good ones too. you're the little engine that could. Alright, I want to get you off so I can get a good picture of this and you can see him up close. Alright, so they kind of fell apart a little bit, but they're coated. I'm going to stick them back in the oven without the tin foil on for about 10-15 minutes. And then that'll be that. I'll take them out and let them rest. I'm going to get french fries in the air fryer. Alright, here's the other half of those straight cut french fries like I had half a bag left I'm gonna get these going in the air fryer <coughs> oh look who came early today huh? so we're supposed to get a lot of rain so we came out a bit early now Misha's gonna take all his goodies out so I put all of this stuff in well you box. can't bake every time dad well I had to have a break yeah you had to have a break but you still brought out treats jeepers oh, creepers yeah. look at that some all dressed ripple chips some popcorn some fruit candies, some butterscotch candies, some chocolate cookies, some lollipops, some chocolate sticks, some caramel candies, an emergency cake, some bonbon booms, 
some oh, different yeah. cookies. What? Those cookies. Yeah. Those ones are new. Water. Oh, you brought that, did you? <laughs> I wasn't sucking on that. Uh, some York peppermint patties. Uh, some wafer cookies and four pops. Wow. Well, thanks, Dad. All the kids have gone. They're all yours. Oh, good. Don't I'm going to hide them away. Don't give the kids none. No. Them. I'll eat them all. No, they have. All right. There's the fries. Don't here. Me. Just... Well, there's stuff. There's enough here for you, Dad. Oh, I got no. four racks of ribs. They better keep them. They'll eat them tomorrow. Lunch. All right. Here's one plate. Okay, everybody had supper. And this is what's left, which surprised the heck out of me. I tried to send home stum with dad, but he's like, no, I already got fish home all ready for supper. I said, okay, well, you snooze, you lose, but this will go in the fridge. We've got the lids right here. And now I've got to clean these bloody oh, pans. I'm going to boil the kettle and put boiling water in this and let it soak with soap, like dish soap. Let it soak till maybe overnight. I don't know. We'll see. Then I have these. I got the dishwasher going now, but yeah, I got to get moving on this. Well, hey friends, it's Tracy from Another Day. I'm putting an ending on this video. It's nine o'clock at night. I'm going to bed here soon, but I've edited three videos this evening. I've just sat here and done that and done that and done that and drank water and, you know, that sort of thing. But I'm trying to get caught up. I'm trying to make room on my phone. I know I keep saying that, but that's exactly what I'm doing. And I'm doing it bit by bit. But anyways, those ribs are really good. Um, the little bit that was left over at the end, it was gone by lunchtime the next day. Um, Misha and Maze had that. Misha had one, Maze had the other one, and they just devoured it. So it was good. And the ribs, you know, it was something different than hamburger or chicken or pork. You know what I mean? We don't have ribs all that often because they're quite expensive unless you get them on a good deal. But, um, yeah, I'm glad we did that. Even though I really didn't feel like doing that, I'm glad we did it. But, anyways, I'm going to say peace, love, and happiness today and every single day. Please like, share, and subscribe if you so choose. But if not, that's okay, too. I still love you. I still want all the happiness in the world for each and every one of you out there. I certainly do. I really, really honest and truly do. Yes, I do. So, okay, guys, with that, I'm going to say have a good night. Or have a good morning. And I will. See you tomorrow. Bye! Boink.